Hey YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. Today's video is to address an oil leak that I've been having a hard time locating. And the reason I've been having a hard time locating it is because it's not really an, it was not an engine oil leak. Look at all this oil under here. And it's been leaking all over the ground. Come to find out, it's my seals and my half shafts. So today, I'll be removing these half shafts changing the seals, and reinstalling them. So let's get started right now. First thing I'm gonna do is take off this uh, 14 millimeter bolt and release the brake line from the strut. Next, I'm gonna take the caliper off and hang it with a bungee cord by removing the two 17 millimeter bolts. Manual impact hammer is how you take a loose tight bolt without cracking your knuckles. Next, to remove the half shaft, or the axle, we have to remove this cotter key here on the front to get to the 30 millimeter nut that's holding the shaft on. It's a big one. So I'm gonna squeeze this little cotter key like so. Let me see if I can get it better with the needle nose. I'm gonna get it as straight as possible. And then I'll go to the other side and pull it out. So, okay, and there's a little keeper that you have to line up again after that. And there's the big bolt, the big nut, okay, 30 millimeter. So I'm going to take that out, take that off right now. Ingersoll Rand, 20 amp, okay, I mean 20, or uh, yeah, 20 volt amp, come on, man. So, now we can pop that all loose and change the seal. So we have to go up underneath and I'll let you watch me do that. Next to take out the dry shaft, you can use these little, there's little chisel chinch marks in the side of the half shaft housing. Use a chisel and a hammer and tap it out of the of the transmission. Like so. Just like that. And you do the same thing to uh, tap it back in. There you go. And now we have no leakage because we drained it first. Now we have to remove that seal, clean it up a bit, and install them. Now I'm going to use one of my hooks. My trusty hooks and try to pull that old uh, seal out. <clears throat> but it's in there pretty tight. I might have to pry it out with a screwdriver or maybe just pry it out with the hook to see if I can pry. There we go. It's coming. When she moves, that's it. Anything else? Let's see if I can do the same to the bottom half. There you go. <clears throat> and I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera too, so that you can see it. Yeah, this is all messed up. It's, it's ripped and everything. It's all dry. So let's get to doing. Let's clean it up. 
All right, a is. quick tip about reinstalling your, your half shaft. There's a little ring on the end and the ring is broken. See right here, it's open. If you have this open part of the ring down towards the bottom when you go to install it, it's gonna make your life a lot easier because if the opening is on the top, what's gonna to be happening underneath the bottom side, it's gonna sag and this ring is gonna interfere like that. See that little bit of up? Let's see if you can see that, like this. A little bit of up, see like that? It's gonna sag like that on the bottom and you're gonna play hell trying to get this reinstalled. So do yourself a favor, put the open part of the ring, not on top, see when it's on top like that, it's sagging down on the bottom. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be almost impossible to get it in. And you're not gonna know why. Take this ring, turn it around, so that the bottom part, that the opening is on the bottom. And that's gonna have the opening, there's nothing there, and in the top, gravity will pull it down into the slot of the splines. All right, that's your tip for installing your half shaft. All right, so we have the new uh, seal here, Duralast from AutoZone. Take it out and put a little bit of grease on it. Right on this surface that's gonna go into the housing. Oh, perfect. Just like so. And then we're gonna go and install it. Put a little bit of grease on the housing too. And then I'll use, for installation, I'm going to use a 1 and 13 16 socket. Who in the hell has one of those? But I just happen to have one and it fits perfectly to tap this in. <laughs> so I have it, so I'm gonna use it. So let's go on over the car and install our seal. Put a little bit of grease on the housing all around. Like so, and then I'm just gonna hand fit. Put it in hand tight first, and then I'm gonna use my socket here to uh, tap it in gently flush. Alright, that looks good. Looks good. I'll put a little bit of grease around here and now we'll install our half shaft with the ring down and it should pop right in. Sometimes you can actually get the ring just right. You can do it by hand and you don't even need to hammer it. So there's the ring on the bottom. Put it in. So now you wiggle around a little bit, turn a little bit so that splines, the splines are like lining up and then I just kind of go and it goes right in, just like that. And that is how you change the seal that's leaking on your transmission at the half shaft. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Thanks for watching.